Today, particularly, we have the schools from Group A. And as we continue with these episodes, we shall have other uh, you know, schools from B and C. But for today, particularly, we have the following schools participating in today's quiz. On my immediate uh, right, we have Mother Marjorie Primary School. A big round of applause for Mother Marjorie. And on my far right, we have St. Francis Junior School. A big round of applause to them. And of course, I want to thank so very much the schools that have participated and the administration of such schools uh, that have allowed us to have your students participate in this 2020 face-to-face uh, -face school quiz. And of course, the teachers over there that have escorted the students in this particular uh, quiz. Thank you so much, and let's give them a very big round of applause for that. Well, right about now, I want to introduce my participants. I want them to introduce themselves by name, school, and class, so that we can start. Let's begin from my immediate right. My name is Kemgisha Moesha. I'm in primary seven at Mother Marjorie Primary School. Thank My you. My name is Ogangi Jonathan. I'm in primary seven at Mother Marjorie Primary School. My name is Atkuna Ranita. I'm in primary six at St. Francis Junior School, Bodo. My name is Ahewa Charles. A student at St. Francis Junior School, Budu, and I'm in primary six. Thank you. Let's give them another big round of applause. And of course, don't forget, this is the first to first school quiz 2022. Now, here are the rules of the quiz. Rule number one, we have four segments for each school participating. Now, the three segments are purely academic. That is the core four subjects of math, English, science, and social studies. The last segment is a segment of general knowledge and etiquette. And that fourth segment is a final and most prestigious of all the three because it has higher marks than the first three. For starters, for every correct answer, you earn a mark. For every correct answer, you earn a mark. A mark means one mark. And each side will receive seven questions in each round. Seven questions in each round. Avoid hesitation, repetition, or deviation. I call for high levels of cooperation. If you don't know the answer, turn to your neighbor and ask them if they know the answer. If both of you don't know the answer, the chance will be gone because you only have 30 seconds to answer the question. That is half a, half a minute, which is quite some time. So you have enough time to think and answer the question. I want you to be audible and look straight in the camera as you are answering these questions. Is that okay? Is that okay? Good. We are starting with Saint Mother Marjorie Primary School on my immediate right. Are you ready? Remember, there is no hesitation, repetition, and I call for high levels of cooperation. Question one for Mother Marjorie. Form an adverb 
from the word repeat. Repeatedly. Repeatedly, correct. Next question goes to St. Francis Junior School. The question is, what percentage is equivalent to 0 0.4 40 percent 40 percent the answer is correct let's give them a round of applause next question goes to mother marjorie primary school your question is why is a wet piece of wood able to transmit electricity? It has water which is a conductor of electricity. Correct. Next question goes to St. Francis Junior School. In which way did the independence of South Sudan affect Sudan? St. Francis. South, South Sudan. South Sudan became a landlocked country. South Sudan became a landlocked country. No. The question was, in which way did the independence of South Sudan affect Sudan? So I expected the answer to have an effect on Sudan, not South Sudan. The answer is, Sudan became a smaller country, or it was reduced in size. No mark. And the next question goes to Mother Marjorie. For the first time, God appeared to Moses as Dash. As a burning bush. Correct, as a burning bush. Correct. Next question goes to St. Francis Junior School. What is the superlative form of the word little? List. List, correct. Next question goes to Mother Marjorie Primary School. What is the product of 12 and 8? You have 30 seconds. 96. 96, the answer is correct. Over to you, St. Francis. Your question is, in which part of the Sekelton are Satua joints located? In the skull. Correct. In the skull. Mother Marjorie, your question. Which weather instrument is used to determine the thickness of clouds? Hygrometer. Wrong. The answer is a silometer. That is C E I L M E T E R. Over to you, Mother Marjorie. Sorry, St. Francis Junior School. The question is A rectangular bedroom is seven meters long and four meters wide what is its area 
I repeat, a rectangular bedroom is seven meters long and four meters wide. What is its area? 28 centimeters squared. Come again. 28 meters squared. 28 meters squared. Correct. Next question goes to St. Francis, sorry, Mother Marjorie. The question is, what name is given to a female horse? A mare. A mare, correct. Over to you, St. Francis Junior School. How is plural fruit useful to the respiratory system? How is the plural fruit useful to the respiratory system? It, it reduces friction in the ribs. It reduces friction between the lungs and the rib cage. Correct. Over to you, Mother Marjorie, your last question in this particular segment. Who is the current deputy speaker of the 11th parliament of Uganda? Anita Among. Rome. Current Deputy Speaker of the 11th Parliament is Right Honorable Thomas Taiwa. Your question is, and this is your last question, how many players are in a basketball team on one side? On one side, eight players. No, not eight. You still have your time. You're left with less than ten seconds. Twelve players. No, they are not twelve, they are not eight, but they are five players in a basketball team on one side. Let's give a very big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the participants. And of course, let's have a very short commercial break. We shall be right back with segment two. Stay with us. Don't go away. Thank you.